Stress Awareness Month. So we thought it'd be a good idea to share like top tips with the rest of our network, how they cope with stress, if there's anything that particularly causes stress. Like for me, like when I'm not in control or feel like I'm not in control. So I have a bit of a list addiction. So I have millions of lists. I have books upon books that are just list making. I also love um, a nice drop of alcohol and a good dance, which I miss greatly. I don't know. What about you guys? What stresses you out? What do you do to relax and keep it clean, please? <laughs> um, I'll start, Kate. So I, I think for me, lock, lockdown was the definitely the one where I put put stress to the test, didn't it? Um, and I... I think running for me, that was the one. That's what I took up. I hated running, never wanted to do it. Much prefer being out playing team sports or playing golf, um, but had to do something. So, and that was probably my mechanism to deal with everything. Like if I had, I used the example, like if I had a bad morning, like loads of stuff going on, not in control of it. If I went for a run at lunch, my head's clear, come back and you have a completely different thought process to deal with stuff in the afternoon. So I'm cons- I'm, I did it, Jan, what did I do? I did it, started last year. And then I've continued it January, February, March. And then um, and then gyms now. So gyms open Monday back there. So I think what I'm trying to do is one piece of exercise, whether it's going to the gym, running. I'm not quite counting golf in that exercise yet, but um, that, that's my plan. And then also, I think what I find when I do that, although it clears your head, I seem to have some good ideas when you when you actually do when I run. As much as I hate that, if I hate running, if I do like a long a long 10K, I come back at the end of it and I've always got something to do, like to implement or an idea on a process. So sometimes you need to take yourself out of the situation, don't you? And then go and clear your head and whether yeah. that's a run, walk, exercise. I would say golf, but golf is just as stressful, probably, the way <laughs> I play it. So <laughs> <you> play, <laughs> <laughs> but I agree with you, John. Sort of exercise has been key for me in terms of just keeping both physically and mentally, you know, that both aspects of it, just keeping sane. And then, you know, just taking yourself out of it, enjoying some fresh air and um, fitness, exercise and sports of probably what's kept me sane over the last year um, from that side of things. I think it's also important that we don't like, I, I agree with the exercise, agree with all of those things. And I've definitely done all of that. But also even just during your working day, because I think obviously when you're in the office, you have those natural like distractions, don't you? Which actually you yeah. think are healthy. Yeah. You might not think they are to have a 10 minute conversation with someone making a coffee. Well, it's not way, but in a way. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe longer. Um, but I think when you're home, it's important if you're on your own just to go and take yourself away if you've had a stressful couple of hours, just 10 minutes if that's brush the telly or... Just some fresh air. Or, or even just scroll through your phone. Like I know that doesn't sound very professional, mm. but even just to just, even just five, 10 minute like yeah, brain refresh away. and then come back, like, yeah. yeah, you don't take the mic, but it's it's just that little five, 10 minutes just to re kind of refresh yourself. Yeah. Or you can go, like, say, go for a, a walk or a run. So they've helped me massively doing doing all of those things definitely yeah i, I think the other sorry, well, sorry. sometimes i quite like um to have like a self-care night so i'll sort of uh, have a nice hot shower wash my hair sit down have a face mask or get into a series or yeah. watch a film but i think it's so important even just to kind of spend that time alone like we speak all day to candidates clients and i think sometimes just sit there in silence with, a, mm. with your favourite programme on and a face mask and just do nothing it's really important to just do not do anything apart from with me on that yeah um, but, so yeah I think that's been really nice and I think now the hairdressers and stuff are back open I'll probably pop for a blow dry or something after work on Friday and feel good that way but um, yeah I think it's important exercise and self care thank God for the hairdressers yeah. <laughs> just to carry on what you said phil I, I think the biggest the thing i think everyone struggles with is is like you made the point about having a break and that sort of thing like lunch times like i don't know about everyone else like you're, you're so busy when you're in yeah when you're in the office i always used to make a point of having the lovely delights of walking into crawley do you know what i mean but i'd get away from a desk and switch off for a bit but now i'm sort of eating on the go the only way i do that is i'd grab the dog and go out but then what i'm finding now I'm literally not necessarily talking to you guys, but I'm talking about work all the way around on my dog walk now. So yeah. then I come back and don't feel refreshed. So I've, I've yeah. got to somehow sort that out. But if I don't, I don't know. It's just I um, I you know I used to be really bad at not taking a break. Well, since I think needing to lose quite a few pounds has helped the incentive. But I'd get out every lunchtime. I actually leave my phone. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I do. Really I leave yeah. the phone just for half an hour. 
anything can wait for half an hour and it means I'm not like walking around looking at it I can literally shut out. off enjoying the time mode is a beautiful feature just putting it on aeroplane mode playing your Spotify <laughs> playlist and then switching it back on once you're ready that's always well, I, a, I quite like a, I quite like a browse though like if I'm walking I might browse on like Twitter look at the sport but then you're right Kate because then what automatically happens is I'll do that off. Oh, yeah. I click into my inbox because you, yeah. yeah. you just naturally yeah. do that, didn't you? How many times you look at your inbox, like even when, oh. at night? Awesome. Yeah. I might try that. I might try even today. I've got to take the dog just at lunch. Just leave I might... it for half an hour because it could be that you're in a meeting. What? It's horrible, <laughs> isn't it? Horrible it. Fault, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't leave it behind, but I like the airplane mode idea, definitely. Mm. It just, yeah, because yeah. like you say, you're yeah. going to be scrolling through Twitter because I like doing or whatever, and then someone calls you. It's mm. like, you know, and you can't, obviously, if you're on airplane mode, yeah, you're not going to get that. So, yeah, I like yeah. that. No, good tip. I might try that. What what I tend to do is I'll go out at lunchtime for 20 minutes, half an hour, stick on a podcast and walk around yeah. the block listening yeah. just to literally just switch off and just listen to just other people talking, whether it's like Peter Crouch's sports one, uh, football, golf, basketball. It's really just to also to catch up with bits that are potentially missed. You don't want to be listening to too much away. Football Cliff, being a Newcastle fan. Uh, being a Newcastle fan, well, that is that is the, the bane of my stress right now. But. Stress awareness, Mum. Stress uh, it's awareness. Just, <laughs> it's just a lifetime, a lifetime of stress, that is, man. Yeah, it's, it's just too stressful. But, what's your, um, your favourite podcast, Chris? Nice. I listen to a podcast called House of Highlights, which is an NBA one. Um Four chaps, just just That's fans, basically. Yeah. <laughs> They're not affiliated with it. It's it's a good It's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Peter Crouch is I definitely recommend because that is funny and enjoyable, yeah. and the football ramble as well. I've listened to for years, um, and they just are just something else. So, if you enjoy sports, are definitely worth listening to. Um, the golf Rick Shields podcast is also a good one. Definitely. Yeah. I find generally having like an upbeat, like getting the bangers on in the background, like just as background noise, not like blaring, although it depends what song comes on, but like literally just having that in the background just keeps like right, you, right. You, you're motivated, chilled and just happy. So like it's actually easier, I guess, if there's stress coming your way to you're already in a good place, like vibing happy positive place kind of thing it helps i'll, I'll do that when i'm like looking for, i'm on linkedin looking for looking for candidates when you're not yeah. calling people just play 10 20 minutes of music just to like jig along to when you because you know linkedin trying through linkedin or just any like looking for candidates can be a little bit um can be tough at times like can be quite samey and repetitive so when you've got something like that in the background to keep you going it just mixes it up um yeah totally agree music music's a great stress relief what do, you, what do you think then the, the big question then so when when we start returning to the office and it's, it's gonna be hard to get that balance right isn't it from where you've just had your own time yeah. and your own focus to suddenly people interrupting you I mean your workflow and stuff like that that's going to be a change for people and I think yeah. that in itself that'd be quite stressful yeah because we've almost got used to it I think at the start it was quite tough and, but now I'm, I really enjoy the work from home side and I think that that separation and I think when you're busier I think it's really I'm, I find I'm so much more focused. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe it's the lack of the distraction um, from other people that helps. But so yeah, it will be weird because you're going to going to knock you out of your your new routine a little bit. So mm. it'll be I don't know. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how we're going to. I'm sure yeah. it's, it's the same with everything, isn't it? A healthy balanced. You know, you've got yeah. a healthy balanced diet. You've got you know, there's loads mm. of different stuff. Getting a healthy balance of everything in terms of working from home. Like you said, feel the focus. You can you know the just distractions are less there but also you know we're only human to socialize you want to have some distractions and yeah. actually you know go in and we're all professional and everything like that but you still you know sometimes you want to go and just have a lot have a chat 10 minutes even yeah. if it's yeah. a brainstorm or let off some steam mm -hmm. or you know something like that, where you can vent to someone so um you know that, that i do miss the, the social interaction where you can just you know what, what you've been watching having a laugh a few oh, yeah, it's it's in the middle of the day where you might just put your pen down for 15 minutes and all start a joke leads onto a bit of banter and, and stuff like that and then you, you know go make a coffee come back and oh, that's start. a really good it's point a, it's a healthy balance i think in, in a really good point there like you know in our job we quite often have bad news right and it can be i think what i've found the most stressful thing actually now you say it 
is when you do get bad news, you really stew on it on your on your own, which is really yeah. unhealthy. I know that I mean yeah. Andy when, when I talk to Andy about it, I immediately feel quite a lot better. But when you're in the office, it's even better because either someone else has had the same bit of bad news that day. Yeah. Or you then just make you laugh or just something. Whereas when you're at home, there's no release. Good point. There's nothing like that. Like I can't just nip to the pub at like at lunchtime or after work with one of you and just kind of vent it. I think that's been the main thing I've struggled with during lockdown is that you just stew on it, even at the weekends. Like when you can't go out or do anything, you just stew on it, stew on it, and then that can get really, really bad. So I think it's, and even when your good news happens, you can't celebrate with anyone. So it's kind of a bit yeah. of a double edged sword. In your, in your front yeah. room or whatever, it's going, yeah, yeah. it is now. Well, I mean, yourself, and we all say well done on the WhatsApp group, but it isn't the same. So do you think we're still doing that in the office? Bodies? We just use the WhatsApp group in the office. Like, no, yeah. no, yeah. no, yeah. no, yeah. no yeah. chat. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. it's very, when we are in the office, like you say, to have that healthy balance of you're at home those days, you're in the zone, you're like knuckling down, getting it all done, but it's hard to take a break. I think when we're in the office, at least we can go for lunch together or, or, or meet up with a friend or something, go take mm -hmm. that break away and enjoy like a nice meal out and enjoying that. Sort of social interaction which you can't get when you're yeah on, on your own. it's taught me anything it's taught me to just be appreciate things that you know we took for granted so yeah. it's you know from that side whether that is a mm. just stepping out and going for a walk or you know or just a, like a pub you know a pint after work you know something like that and social interaction you know because we no one ever thought you know your freedom would be taken away to this extent would it so it's it certainly made me realize and appreciate the the smaller things in life um from that side and you know, looking after your mentality, um, your mental and your physical health as well is so important. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think in terms of stress for me, it's just keeping my mind active, keep trying to keep as healthy as possible. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to keep so healthy now with the pubs being back open, um, <laughs> but the beer gut will be back soon. Um, and that side of things, but no, it's going back to all. I think it's just going back to a healthy balance of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Look, all those tips, Katie. What, what more could you want? Exactly yeah. that. Perfect, we should, guys. We should charge for this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> add, it to, um, add it to our remit offering. Yeah, yeah. That's it. We're doing lockdown is that you just stew on it. Even at the weekends, like when you can't go out or do anything, you just stew on it, stew on it. And then that can get really, really bad. So I think it's, and even when your good news happens, you can't celebrate with anyone. So it's kind of, a bit yeah. of a double edged sword in your, in your front yeah. room or whatever, just going, Yeah, yeah. yeah it is now. Well, I mean, be it to yourself, and we all say, Well done on the WhatsApp group, but it isn't the same. So, do you think we're still doing that in the bodies? office? We we'll just use the WhatsApp group in the office, like, no, yeah. no, yeah. no, yeah. no, no, chat. Yeah. 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 When we are in the office, like you say, to have that healthy balance of you're at home those days, you're in the zone, you're like knuckling it down, getting it all done, but. It's hard to take a break. I think when we're in the office, at least we can go for lunch together or, or, or meet up with a friend or something and go take that break away and enjoy like a nice meal out and enjoying that sort of social interaction, which you can't get when you're yeah. on, on your own. It's taught me anything. It's taught me to just be appreciate things that, you know, we took for granted.